Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Randy. Today I'm here with my wife's uh, Samsung Intercept and this is running 2.1 and there is an official 2.2 release out for it, the Froyo, but we cannot get it to uh, take the update over the air. It's just not doing it and that's probably because we were using uh, basic ROM 1.7 and even though I flashed everything back to stock you know sometimes that's just not good enough so we're just gonna force feed it 2.2 here so um, we're on the SDX developer site and there's a few things you need to download obviously you need to download the update.zip you're gonna need to download the factory SPHM 910 tar.md5 uh, file and in order to flash anything on here you're also going to need the SW update program which was uh, it was built for the moment um, install that and then you're going to need to download Louis Ziffer's patch and also install that in order for it to work on the intercept so uh, don't forget USB drivers and I'm gonna say it right now this can be tricky and you can mess up your phone so you know do this at your own risk so uh, I'm gonna assume that you've down downloaded all the necessary files your USB drivers all that junk um, you've downloaded and installed the SW upgrade file and you've also installed the Louis Ziffer's patch so you've got your update zip you've got your tar.md5 you need to copy this so you go to my computer and if you're running a 32-bit operating system then just put it under your program files or look under program files if you're running 64-bit then you're going to need to go to x86 go to Samsung Electronics SW upgrade models binary if there is already a file in this folder delete it you can brick your phone if you do not follow this so now that that file's gone paste your uh, tar.md5 in here once it's there you need to rename it the only thing you're gonna do is change the extension delete the .md5 leave the rest there then it's gonna yell at you about it tell it yes okay now you're left with a standard zip file now um, it really helps once you've got your your update.zip to go ahead and just install that on the root of your SD card on your cell phone before you even get started I probably should have mentioned that to begin with but quite honestly I forgot and this is my fourth time trying to remake this video and I'm not doing it again so <laughs> copy the update.zip to the root directory of your SD card now with that said open up SW upgrade or update whichever whatever accept the terms continue 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 now it's going to tell you how to put your phone in download mode volume down camera and in key at the same time until you get this screen on your phone I did it in advance because trying to put this thing into download mode with one hand is almost impossible and I didn't want to waste anybody's time while I try to fiddle with it and get it working so once you get your phone in download mode tell it go ahead it's going to want you to plug in your phone so that it can validate your USB drivers. And as soon as it recognizes the drivers, you can click Next. Now it wants you to take out the cable. And click Next. And it's going to tell you to take out your battery. Click Next. Now it's going to want you to put your phone into download mode again. Which is just peachy. trying to do this one-handed and alas I got it okay so put your phone into download mode again click next now I want you to plug your phone back in again this is seriously more complicated than it really has to be but you know what can you do okay click next 
and now we can get started. You'll probably hear the little USB detection thing go on and off a couple times, that's normal. And I'm going to pause the video because nothing interesting is going to happen until it's done. Okie doke. So once it says that it's finished running, you'll get all these little, you know, things going across your screen here, operations that it's performing. Let it run through. It doesn't take long. And then your phone is going to do this, going to shut itself off. And it's going to want to reboot, and we're not going to give it the opportunity because we still have to flash. So, what you're going to do now is instead of holding the volume down, camera, and the end key, you're going to hold the volume down, talk, and uh, end key. I'm trying to do this, this is not easy. this is how you get it into recovery mode and sorry that it's kind of blurred out there okay here is your recovery like I said volume down the talk key the end key hold those down you go into this kind of recovery right here and you can use your volume rocker to scroll up and down or you can use your uh, optical key keypad right here you're going to apply SD card update dot zip and it is running And I'm going to sit this down instead of sitting here holding it all day. And you can now get out of this screen. It's not necessary anymore. That's great. So try real hard. I'm I'm a proud owner of the Samsung Epic 4G. I love the phone. It's a great phone, but I'm a little bit upset that the uh, Intercept has gotten the official 2.2 release before we did, but at the same time, the Intercept's been around longer than the Epic, and quite honestly, I've used my wife's phone, and it's not a pleasant experience under 2.1, so uh, they needed it. The Intercept really deserved to have this update, and, uh, you know, I'm happy that she gets it. And hopefully we'll get ours before too long. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter because there's the leaked DK28 out, and you can see my other videos on that. I've uh, benchmarked and tested every ROM that's available right now on 2.2 with DK28. They're all on my uh, YouTube channel. So, uh, like, subscribe, do all that stuff, and... Uh, you know, leave comments, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to help. But try to keep in mind that uh, I run a business from home, so I cannot sit on the computer all day and answer everybody's questions as soon as they come in. Um, but I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can, and uh, I'll do anything I can to help you. But most of the time, anything that you need an answer to can be found um, in the links that I provide underneath the, uh, the video. So uh, while this is finishing its, its updates here, I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and we'll come back when it's a little bit further along. Okay, so it just finished. And sorry about my birds in the background. They, uh, they like to interrupt me. So as soon as this thing comes up, we should be on official 2.2. 
you can see the boot animation has changed from the uh, 2.1 okay so here we go uh, keep in mind this this takes a while <laughs> this whole process from start to finish is not something that's quick um, you're, you're gonna spend 10-15 minutes or so and that's if you've already done this before and know what you're doing so um, don't expect this to be something that you're just gonna have done real real fast here but uh, there it is and we'll Go on to settings. And you can see that the Android version is 2.2.1 and it is DL05. So there you go. That is, uh, that's it. That's how you set it up. Um, I'll do another video after this because we're already up to over 11 minutes here. Um, I'll do another video that will uh, show you how to uh, root um, and hopefully there's a custom kernel and everything out there that will work on this and uh, if so then I'll be doing another video shortly with all the information on how to do that. So again if you have any questions, comments, hit me up, like, subscribe and uh, do what you do.